Negative comments have 10 times the impact on you than a positive comment. Pessimistic people cannot grow. A pessimist is a person who feels bad when he feels good for fear that he's going to feel worse when he feels better. <laughs> Everybody knows people like that. So the combination of optimism and self-confidence is a powerful force. You see, most people have it backwards. They think, if, if I can achieve something, then I'll feel important. I will then be worthwhile. That's backwards. No, you should be thinking, I'm important. I'm worthwhile. I have special gifts and talents that make me unique. Now watch me achieve. And that attitude is what will make the difference in your future. And remember this, your glory comes from being different than, not better than. Nobody's better than anybody else. I'm not better than you, and you're not better than me. It's your uniqueness that manifests the glory of our, of our creation. So in closing, I'm a great believer that tomorrow we will find whatever we are looking for. If we look for mediocrity, cynicism, intolerance, pessimism, bitterness, prejudice, and resentment, then we're going to have a good day. Because there's a lot of that out there. On the other hand, if we're looking for generosity, patience, kindness, understanding, love, and optimism, and the confidence to achieve, we're going to have a great day because that's all out there too. That decision, though, is totally up to each one of us. I want to sincerely thank you all for listening and once again congratulate you, the graduating class of 2014. Thank you. much behind that speech but I will say when he was hired at Acosta he was the 90th employee hired and now there's 35,000 and he's at the head so you know some of us just talk and talk and talk and there are others who talk and walk he's one of those let's give him another round of we will we will now be blessed with another selection from the choir but before the choir i would also like to recognize another esteemed member of the Edward Waters College family support mechanism and my pastor, the Reverend Michael Leon Mitchell, Doctor of Philosophy. Now let's give our attention to the choir as they share with us. Glory to God.
Come on, say, I love you. Chairman of the Board of Trustees of Edward Waters College to join me at the podium. I also ask Ms. Cleola Brown, President of the A. Philip Randolph Institute and her escort, Mr. Tony Hill, Federal Policy Director, the City of Jacksonville, and former State Senator to join me at the podium. of Humane Letters is A. Philip Randolph. Mr. Randolph made unparalleled contributions as a leader in both the civil rights and the American labor movement. Born in the 1980s, he extended he attended both Edward Waters College and Cookman Institute. He organized and led the Brotherhood of Sleeping Car Porters, the first predominantly black labor union, and the early civil rights movement. Randolph led the March on Washington movement, which convinced President Franklin Delano Roosevelt to issue Executive Order 8802 in 1941, banning discrimination in the defense industry during World War II. The group then successfully pressured President Harry S. Truman to issue Executive Order 9981 in 1948, ending segregation in the armed forces. In 1963, Randolph was a head of the March on Washington, which was organized by Bayard Rustin, at which time the Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. delivered his I Have a Dream speech. Randolph inspired the Freedom Budget, sometimes called the Randolph Freedom Budget, which aimed to deal with the economic problems facing 
the black community. For these accomplishments and more, Edward Waters College posthumously bestowed upon A. Philip Randolph the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters. President Glover, the candidate for the honorary degree of Doctor of Humane Letters, A. Philip Randolph, has been approved by the faculty and is represented by Ms. Cleola Brown, president of the A. Philip Randolph Institute. The trustees of Edward Waters College have authorized the honorary degree of Doctor of Humane Letters to be bestowed upon the Honorable A. Philip Randolph posthumously. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I confer upon A. Philip Randolph the degree of Doctor of Humane letters post humorously. Tony, would you join me please? I sat for a moment and I was wondering what to say as I approached the podium but I heard from the choir that to God be the glory, which gives you the strength to do anything that you're called upon. So I'm happy today for a couple of reasons. Not just because I'm here sharing the time with you, although that's fabulous, and that Randolph is getting an award, but in the fashion and in the history and honor from a school of integrity, from which it is being presented. Trust me, I had a printed document to give you a speech this afternoon of two minutes. I will say thank you, first of all, to Brother Charles Spencer, who is president of the entire state of Florida for the A. Philip Randolph Institute, who sits on the board of trustees at the top, never looking for credit, but this is the first award that Randolph has gotten of this magnitude. So to you, Brother Spencer, I say thank you with a lot of gratitude on behalf of the Institute. And to the Honorable Senator, Tony Hill, for the battle that never seems to end, I say thank you to you for lifting the name of Asa Philip Randolph on a continuous basis so that his legacy never disappears. I graduated from college 46 years ago from Florida A&M University. I heard y'all moaning. I see there are some Rattlers in the house as well. And I wanted to say to those students who are here this afternoon, Randolph's shoulders are the shoulders that we stand on on a number of occasions. The fight that he fought to integrate the military was one that did not get a lot of airtime player recognition. The fight that he fought to make sure that working people received a living wage rather than just a wage is one that each of us enjoys each and every day. The fight that continues is on you graduates to make sure that the proud legacy from which you come stands every single day on what you do. This school, Edward Waters College, was the first to be built on a legacy of religion, a first to be built with a focus on African American education, a first to honor those of us from our community to make sure that we as a people never went unrecognized for the accomplishments that we had as a contributor to this society in which we live. Our legacy remains intact. 
your integrity and dedication to it will help those of us who are getting older to enjoy in the seeds that got and sowed. But to my Soros, I say hello, and I say TTBOD. Take care, God bless you, and thank you, Edward Waters College, for all that you've done to give us this, to take back to those who are insisting on continuing the legacy of Asa Philip Randolph. Thank you, officers of the school. Philip Randolph with another round of applause. <laughs> now, Dr. Grant will recognize some very special graduates. Dr. Grant. Thank you, Dr. Bell. It is my honor to recognize two esteemed graduates of the class of 2014. Our salutatorian is Ms. Tiffany Tucker. is a mass communication major graduating summa cum laude with a 4.0 grade point average. I now ask Ms. Curry to approach the podium to give her valedictorian address. Before I begin, I would just like to say that some people wait a lifetime for a moment like this. Happy are those who dream dreams and are ready to pay the price to make them come true. To President Glover, Bishop Richardson, Chairman of the Board of Trustees, faculty, parents, friends, and family on behalf of the dignified, the dedicated, and deserving class of 2014, welcome. As I stand before you today, I can't help but entertain the thoughts that are going through my head Class of 2014, we have officially made it. <laughs> to say I was a mess when I began my college career would be an understatement. I recall being frightened, nervous, and intimidated. I was dealing with my present, running from my past, and I was uncertain about my future. I didn't have a clear picture of what I wanted to do with my life. Consequently, a lot of people had counted me out. How many of you in here knows 
that some people may count you out, but if God has you in his plan, they have no choice but to count you back in. Psalm 27.3 tells us that though an army encamps against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war rise against me, yet I will be confident. But I was terrified when I arrived on the steps of dear old Edward Waters College. I didn't know what lay ahead for me, however, I heard an inner voice tell me, stay in school, don't give up, better yourself. And guess what? I listened. Class of 2014, we listen. We sit amongst each other, realizing that it was the grace of God that not only brought us to Edward Waters College, but carried us through. Some of us made it on a wing and a prayer, but God, we made it. We are all graduates. That's something that each one of us should be proud of. God is ordering our steps. Let us continue to seek his face. For some of us, this means furthering your education. And others, it means breaking the chains. It also means reaching our fullest potential. To our 29th president, Mr. Nathaniel Glover, we are grateful. If you are to be remembered by a single attribute, I would declare without reservation that you are an efficient problem solver. Mr. Glover, you have made a tremendous impact on the lives of every student here on the campus of Edward Waters College. In fact, you show me so much respect that every time I see you, I can't help but stop you and say hello. Thanks again. To the faculty, we owe you our most sincere gratitude. There were times when it seemed I was a bit incorrigible, but thank you genuinely for your patience. I love you because you helped me to realize you helped us to realize our drive. Thank you for your structure and your individual philosophies that you imparted to all of us. We will forever remember every kind word and every piece of advice. To my mother, you are the strongest woman I know. You're the inspiration for my success. I hope that today you know how deeply I love you. My classmates, this is our moment. We have worked long and hard preparing for this very occasion. The places we go will become a part of who we are because God will be with us. The things we do from this moment on will take us down the path of our purpose because God will lead us. The challenges we face will make our success even sweeter because God will use them to make us strong. Joshua 1.9 tells us, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Over these four years, we've suffered tremendous losses with the passing of our friends and close faculty members. Although they are not with us in the flesh, we hold them in our hearts and our memories and we rest assured that they are with us in spirit. I'm going to miss you all dearly. It's a bittersweet moment for me to have to part ways with you after spending four of the best years of my life with you guys. 
We went through our challenges, but they too have shaped us into dynamic women and men. In 1866, Edward Waters College opened its doors on the principle that everyone deserves a quality education. 148 years later, I stand here believing that the college was designed especially with the class of 2014 in mind. But it wasn't only us, it was every graduating class of Edward Waters College. Lastly, to our supporters, our families, to my sister, and to the TRIO program. None of us would be here today if it wasn't for your generosity. If it were not for your unyielding belief in us, your faith in us, and most importantly, your prayers. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Curry. Those encouraging words for your classmates and for all who heard. Thank you. Will Dr. Benjamin Okafa and Dr. Anita Mando please come forward? Dr. Benjamin O'Coffer has been selected by the students of the class of 2014 as Teacher of the Year. He joined the Edward Waters College faculty in 2001 as a manager for the Klein program. He is now an associate professor in the Department of Criminal Justice. We applaud his devotion and dedication to the development and nurturing of our students. Congratulations. Dr. Anita Mandel. Dr. Mandel has joined, has been selected by her peers on the faculty as the Distinguished Professor of the Year. She joined the Edward Waters College faculty in 2006 and as, a, as an assistant professor of biology. We applaud her devotion to research, dedication, and to the education of our students. We present this plaque in deep appreciation, and also she will receive a $1,000 award.
<laughs> we have now come to the moment we have all been waiting for. The conferring of the degrees upon the class of 2014. Again, I ask for your cooperation so that everyone can fully enjoy this ceremony. To avoid confusion and congestion near the platform, would you please not leave your seats to take pictures? Only authorized photographers are permitted on the floor to take photographs. Also, please hold your applause until all the degrees have been awarded so that you can hear the names of your graduate as well as the name of other seniors. Now, I present again Dr. Grant. President Glover, I present the candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, and Bachelor of Business Administration. Candidates, please rise. Dr. Glover, as a result of their having completed their academic requirements, in recognition of their having given evidence of growth in character and in accordance with the vote of the Board of Trustees and Faculty of Edward Waters College, I have the honor to present these candidates for the appropriate degrees. By virtue of the authority vested in me, the 29th president of Edward Waters College, I confer upon you an appropriate, as appropriate and earned, the degrees of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, and Bachelor of Business Administration and admit you to all the rights and privileges thereto appertain. Graduates, please approach the stage. Others may be seated. Victoria Lamara Alston, Bachelor of Science in Biology, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Devin Treon Bryant, Bachelor of Science in Biology. Julia Clarissa Burke, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Megan 
Angel Carradine. Diamond Denisha Clark McQueen, Biology. <laughs> Alkiria Siobhan Jones. Maurice L. Miller. Oh. 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 Timothy Nancy Jr. Cesara Monet Smith. <laughs> Lorenzo C. Capehart. <laughs> Francesca Zanetta Davis. Travis B. Montgomery, Business Administration. Dijon B. Mujahi. Magna Cum Laude. Tony Simmons. <laughs> Dylan Taylor Watts. Jeremy Till. <laughs> Shavonda Aisha Weary, Bachelor of Business Administration. Devon Smith, Business Administration. <laughs> Federica Andrea Alexander, Business Administration, Magna Cum Laude. Gerald A. Bates, Business Administration. <laughs> Felicia Christine Clark, Business Administration. Tana Brown, 
Business Administration, Magna Cum Laude. Shirley Dabney Lunsford, Business Administration, Magna Cum Laude. Derek Antron Dawson, Business Administration, Cum Laude. Marilyn D. Dawson, Business Administration. Yolanda Sharice Lockett Dawson, Business Administration. Frank Christopher Emanuel, Business Administration. Karen Marie Falconer, Business Administration, Magna Cum Laude. Sharon Talisa Harris, Business Administration. Leticia McLean Jackson, Business Administration, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Nicole Jordan, Business Administration. Martha D. Jones, Business Administration. <laughs> Courtney Mackey, Business Administration. Javon Denard Reed. Business Administration, Cum Laude. <laughs> Dean Ross, Business Administration. <laughs> Maurice E. Smith, Business Administration. Rishonda Matora Curry, Bachelor of Arts, Mass Communications, Summa Cum Laude. Arthur Ron K. Harrison, Mass Communications, Honor.
Monica, Patrice, Martina, Mass Communications, Honors. Elizabeth Perry, Mass Communications. Roland Young, Jr., Mass Communications. Jacob N. Atney, Criminal Justice. Deandra Monette Bryan, Criminal Justice, Magna Cum Laude. Germonte D. Bush, Criminal Justice. <laughs> Gerald Jean Danita Can, Criminal Justice, Cum Laude. Donovan D. Carter, Criminal Justice, Honors. Odane A. Clark, Criminal Justice. B. Cunningham, Criminal Justice. <laughs> Courtney J. Lorraine Davis, Criminal Justice. David Anakding, Criminal Justice, Magna Cum Laude. Aisha Lier Dickey, Criminal Justice. Michelle Arte Ellis, Criminal Justice. Edward Everson III, Criminal Justice. Adriana Felton, Criminal Justice. Arius Zenobia Higgins, Criminal Justice.
Clinton v. Horvath, criminal justice. Jasmine Elaine Charmaine Housley, criminal justice. Jasmine Janelle Jackson, criminal justice, magna cum laude. Montreal Antoine Jenkins, criminal justice. Renisha L. Jones, criminal justice, summa cum laude. Gerard T. Lenore, Criminal Justice. And Janique Leah Larchabot, Criminal Justice, Cum Laude. Abraham Ding Mayin, criminal justice, cum laude. <laughs> Anthony Eugene Minnis Jr., criminal justice. Priscilla Margie Morgan, criminal justice. Okay. Richie Normal, criminal justice. Cole O'Neill, criminal justice, magna cum laude. Chances Blair Page, criminal justice. Raphael Denard Schuller, criminal justice. Joseph Lamar Thomas, Jr., criminal justice, cum laude.
Tiffany Talbert, criminal justice, magna cum laude. Ashley T. Walker, criminal justice. Daniqua Latavia Watson, criminal justice. Theotis Jamal White Hampton, criminal justice. LaShondra Nicole Williams, criminal justice. Kayla Monique Bowie, Elementary Education, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Tave Renee Health, Elementary Education, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Tiffany Danielle Tucker, Elementary Education, Summa Cum Laude. Ashley Melinda Anderson, Interdisciplinary Studies. Chantelle Renee Ellis, Interdisciplinary Studies. Samantha Maven Hewitt, Interdisciplinary Studies. April L. Jackson, Interdisciplinary Studies. Jasmine Nakita Jenkins, Interdisciplinary Studies. Brandon Charles Lee, Interdisciplinary Studies. Heather Alexandria Porter, Interdisciplinary Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Sandra Naomi Stevens, Interdisciplinary Studies. Lakimbria 
Sade Tony, Interdisciplinary Studies. Devin Lee, Music. Derek T. Nicholas, Music. Octavius LaVar Davis, Psychology. <laughs> Ashley Nicole Farley, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Adriana Katrina Hester, Psychology. <laughs> Jefferson Joseph, Psychology. Linda Diane Mitchell, Psychology Cum Laude. Marie Antoinette Peterson, Psychology. Keisha Chanel Smith, Psychology. Tony Dion Stansberry, Psychology. Jasmine Chanel Thomas, Psychology. Phaedra Janae Thomas, Recreation. Florinda Valentina Sanders, Business Administration, Magna Cum Laude. the achievements of this outstanding class of 2014.